Hello, this is Marvin from Evolution Marketing Solutions. This video is going to be the second version of how to build your very own WordPress website from scratch. Okay, so uh, I'm actually I actually just noticed that I didn't title the video "How to Build Your Very Own WordPress Website from Scratch" Part One which I should have I'm sorry about that but this is part two of that video and in this tutorial what we're gonna cover is plugins okay I'm gonna actually reveal to you uh, some of the plugins that I use that's a must-have whenever I build a website I must absolutely use these plugins and I do care about you guys so much and I want you to get this thing right therefore I'm gonna share with you you know exactly what I do and uh, I can't just show you how to build websites without actually showing you how to run maintain market and advertise the and market and advertise the website so let's get right to it here are a list of plugins that I use okay um, what I'm gonna do is I may not be able to cover all of them with this video so there may be a part two a part three however many parts it take uh, until I can actually cover everything there is to cover with you guys about how to build a website you know uh, the the correct plug is to use I'm also going to cover you know how to market and promote your website online how to get free traffic all that good stuff okay so this is just a quick glance you know uh, of just a few <laughs> actually just a few of some of the plugins what I consider to be must-have plugins uh, for your WordPress website okay so uh, we're gonna I'm gonna go ahead and go to um, the site that I was building in this video here uh, how to build your own WordPress website from scratch uh, that site was dot com money dot info okay so uh, go ahead and open up a little, another browser or uh, if you if you're working on your own site go ahead and uh, open up your site and then you can actually install these plugins as we're going along going along through this video okay so um, I know you guys can see here that I have I have not actually done much with the site since the last video uh, the thing was I, I, I it was just a site that I threw together just to show you guys you know uh, how to actually get your WordPress site up but uh, I will be adding content to the site and adding more information to the site very soon okay so uh, what you guys may need to do is join my mailing list uh, if I'm gonna I'm gonna actually put a mailing list on this site and it's gonna let you know when the site launches and this site here is gonna be about you know how to make money online okay well, I know right now we're talking about how to build your website but you want to eventually learn the different ways you can make money from your website so if you are interested in that I invite you to join the mailing list that's gonna be on this page and what I'll do as I'll go ahead and make a uh, set this page up when I get finished making this video where when you visit the site there's gonna be a form that drops down in the page and it's gonna say any your name and email address and phone number if you want to learn more about how to make money with your website or how to make money online so if you're interested in that go ahead and enter that information okay so let me go ahead and log into the back end of the site and you do that by uh, typing WP dash admin after your domain. Okay, I'm going to enter my password uh, to get into the site if I can remember it. Let's see. Okay, so if you click on the, well, I'm going to click on the plugin section and you'll see the only plugin that I have so far or that I utilize is contact form 7 and what the contact form 7 is it's just a simple contact form uh, let me go ahead and show it to you here uh, this is actually the 
the plug-in itself okay once okay I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself already all right uh, once you install a plug-in the, the way I would find this plug-in contact form 7 is you know I take and copy that name since it's already here or if you know the name which is contact form 7 you click on add new and then you're gonna see a, a search uh, box here you go ahead and paste that the name of that plugin in that search box you hit search plugin and it's gonna bring up that plugin okay since I've already installed it it's not gonna I'm not gonna have an install now link there but you would definitely have an install now link if you haven't installed that plugin I recommend you install it right now and what contact form 7 is well let me go ahead and read the description contact form 7 can manage multiple contact forms plus you can customize the form and mail contents flexibility with simple markup okay what contact form 7 to me is it's just a basic contact form and uh, I'm going to show you what it looks like right now and then I'll come back to the back office of the site and I'll show you how to set it up okay if you'll notice on the website I have a home I have a an about and a contact page if you click on contact this is the contact form 7 all right it, it asks for your name your email uh, the subject of your message and it asks for the actual message okay so uh, once someone fills out this information and they hit that send button I get this information in my email okay so in whichever email that I set up through contact form 7 to send me the information I get the information in that email alright so the way you set that up once you install the plugin if you look over to the left and uh, you scroll down to the bottom you're gonna see a tab that says contact you click on that it's gonna open up contact form 7 the first thing you want to do here it says copy this code and paste it into your post paste or page or text widget content okay so you want to copy this code right here because this is this is the code that's going to make contact form make the contact form show up on your website so no matter where you put this code on your website it's going to make that contact form show up so you want to copy that code you really don't need to mess with any of this information right here unless you you know you got a little bit of experience I mean but this is the basic information that asks for you know the name the email the subject and the message okay all right and um, but if you look at this this next tab below it's the mail tab and you're gonna see a two uh, well the word two and whatever email you want the the contact form to send uh, the messages to you want to put that email right here okay and um, and that's all you do with that all right so you scroll down and you don't mess with anything in this box here and that's it and you just hit save okay now uh, once you hit save that's when you want to copy this code okay so you hit save you get the code and then you go to add new all right add new page or add new post and then you title the page which of course would be you know contact us or contact me you click on HTML whenever you get a code from a plugin you want to click on the HTML tag and you want to paste the code in the HTML tag and I'll show you why right now if you leave it on visual and you paste the code in the visual tab and you hit publish let's go ahead and open this up and show you what you got okay well it actually showed up here uh, it showed us the contact form now sometimes it doesn't work sometimes if you actually paste the code in the visual section and you hit publish it's gonna just show you the code but in this case it showed us the contact form but just to be on the safe side I would recommend you click on HTML and you paste the code in your HTML and then you click on visual and uh you click before the code and go ahead and hit enter a few times and, and knock it down and then you type you know use the form below to contact us you know somewhere along those lines or whatever you any other information you want to type sometimes i 
you know, I enter my, I'll, I'll type something like this at the top, and then, you know, I'll um, hit enter and, and go to the bottom of the contact form, and I'll put, you know, my name, my phone number, uh, links to my Skype, links to my Twitter, links to my Facebook page, you know, the, the whole shebang, you know, so it really depends on the amount of information that you want on that page, okay, but um, if you paste that code there, it's going to definitely put the contact form for you on that page as well, okay, so um, that's contact form 7, okay, that's one of the plugins that I use on almost every website that I build. And I recommend you use it as well. So let me go ahead and trash this page because I'm not going to need it anymore. I already have a contact page on my website. The next plugin that I'm going to cover with you guys is called All in One SEO Pack. Okay? The All in One SEO Pack. And, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually um I'm going to actually include a link, not a link, but I'm going to include a uh, a list the plugin list to the bottom of this video so you can actually just copy the the uh, name of the plugin from the list and then you come here to add new you click on add new and then you paste that that the name of the plugin in the search box and you hit search plugin and it'll pull the plugin right up for you all right and the one that we're going to be working with with now is the all-in-one SEO pack and what it does is it optimizes your WordPress blog for search engines okay so it, it helps your your blog show up in the search engine so this is a very 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 important plugin and uh, you have to take this one seriously because you know this is this is the you know this is what's gonna help you get that traffic you know and that's what you want to do when you build a website you know you want to get traffic because if you're not getting traffic you're not getting views and you're not making money and you're not doing anything you know it's just it's just you're just there you know taking up space and so uh let's go ahead and get into this all-in-one seo pack all right uh you pull it up you hit install now you're gonna see a little box that pop up it says are you sure you want to install the plugin yes so hit okay it's gonna bring you to this page here it's gonna say installing plugin all-in-one seo pack all right, it's gonna install the plugin, and you're gonna see a link down here. It says activate plugin. You want to click activate to go ahead and activate that plugin. And the first thing that you're gonna see is you're gonna see a red bar up here to the top uh, of your dashboard. It's gonna say all-in-one SEO pack must be configured. Go to the admin page to enable and configure this plugin. So you can actually click here, this link here, and it'll take you directly to the admin page. And this is where we're going to configure this plugin to work with your website. Okay, so if you look over to the left here, you'll also see that you can get to the admin panel by scrolling down and under settings, click on all in one SEO and it'll bring you directly to uh, this admin panel. Okay, so they, they have a little link here where you can sign up today and receive a free copy of the ebook. Uh, five SEO tips for WordPress. It's just thirty-nine dollar value. All right, so if you want to take part in that, go ahead and sign up for that. Uh, it also says, you know, click on option titles to get help. I enjoy this plugin and have made a donation. If you made a donation, you know, you can click the checkbox. If you didn't. You don't have to click it and you know you don't have to make a donation either you know it's totally up to you all right so this is this is the bread and butter this is this is where we want to be right here all right the first thing that you want to pay attention to is plug-in status okay they're going to give you two options one is enabled one is disabled you definitely want to click enable because if you don't enable the plug-in it won't work <laughs> you know i guess that's a given okay now the next thing that they're going to hit you with is, is the home title. Okay, now what the home title is, is, matter of fact, I'll go ahead and show you what it is right now. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and go to Google, all right, and I'll type how to make, just something random, okay, how, how to make a bow, all right. So, 
if you look at this page you'll be able to easily spot the home title which is the first link that the first link or the first piece of um, content that you see pertaining to the particular website all right so for instance this the the, the title here is DIY how to make a perfect floral bow okay uh, here you'll see how to make a bow how to make a bow out of a ribbon how to make hair bows easy hair bow instructions news for how to make a bow okay so if you if you take a closer look at the home title you'll notice that the home title has the the keyword in there okay so obviously these sites are designed around or these sites focus on how to make a bow okay so that's the key one of the key phrases that they're using to drive traffic to the site and if you're going to be using a specific key phrase to drive traffic to your site which you should then you want to also try to find some kind of way to include that key phrase into your what they call home title okay so um in 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 and if you look here you'll see that they have how to make a bow just the keyword phrase itself as the home title but you can also you know break it up and include it in your title in different ways like how to make hair bows easy hair bow instructions so you have how to make bows bow okay so that's a good example of a home title so your home title is going to be the first thing that someone sees when they search for whatever key phrase you're using to uh, drive traffic to your website or when they search for whatever your product is or whatever they're looking for okay and if you want to come up in the search engines you got to make sure you put yourself in front of whoever is searching for whatever that they're looking for and the way you do that is you use a plugin one of the ways you do that is by using the plugin all-in-one SEO because uh, it helps you you know rank in the search engines okay so for my home title it'll be something like um, how to make money online on autopilot okay because on my website right now I'm thinking on this website I'm actually thinking that I'm gonna focus on how to make money online on autopilot okay and uh, I also want to focus on how to drive traffic to your site on autopilot so I'll say how to drive traffic for free no I'll say how to get free traffic and how to make money online on autopilot okay so I, I I may not even go with this I'm just using this as an example so my home title will be for the example how to get free traffic and how to make money online on autopilot okay so whenever somebody if I do my marketing and advertising right and set up this plugin right whenever somebody type this how to get free traffic or how to make money online on autopilot then they'll see my link here you know it'll say how to make money online and how to get free traffic on autopilot then it'll say www.comoney.info blase blase okay so the next thing that you want to do is you want to use you want to enter the home description so you'll say something like uh your well i'll say something like your one-stop source for how to make money online all on autopilot and how to drive 100% free traffic to your website okay sorry if I'm typing a little slow you guys just have to bear with me because I'm new to this teaching thing and um, 
trying to make sure I dot all my I's and cross all my T's so I'll steer you guys in the wrong direction here okay so um, my home description would be your one-stop source for how to make money online all on autopilot and how to drive 100% free traffic to your website so can anybody tell me where this would show up in the Google search well let me show you okay so I have my home title right here and then right here is where my home description to be and it will say your one-stop source for how to make money online all on autopilot and how to drive 100% free traffic to your website okay so this section here is gonna always be your website's description okay all right, so it's coming together now. I hope it is. All right, because right now we're going to talk about keywords. Okay, so whatever keywords you're using for your site, they're going to go in the home keywords tab. Okay, and it says comma separated. So to give you an example, let me go ahead and set my keywords up. Okay, so uh, one of my main keywords or key phrases would be how to make money online, comma, how to make money online on autopilot comma how to drive free traffic to my website comma how to drive free traffic to your website comma uh, let's see yeah that's it so the key phrases and then I'll go ahead and, and, and do a how to comma make money comma online comma autopilot okay so in the home keyword section you want to use keywords that you think people will be typing to find your website okay and if you notice if you notice here check out the pattern my home title says how to get free traffic and how to make money online on autopilot my home description says, says your one-stop source for how to make money online all on autopilot and how to drive 100% free traffic to your website my home keywords say how to make money online, how to make money online on autopilot, how to drive free traffic to your website. So you want the pattern is you want to include your key phrase in the home title and the home description and in the keywords. Okay. So that is very important that you do that. And let me show you, you can't actually see the keywords from um from this page here on Google, but I'll show you where the keywords will show up okay if you click on I'll just click on a random you know how how to make a perfect floral bow if you right click and then you click on view page source sometimes you can see the keywords that this person is using to promote their website I don't actually see the keywords here so I'll try another one Okay, so I'm going to go back and I'm going to click on how to make a bow out of a ribbon. The page comes up. You right click. Uh, I don't see any on here. I'm going to go back. Here's the Squid Do page here. How to make hair bows. Easy hair bow instructions. I'm going to open that page up. I'm going to right click on the page, click on view page source. Okay, and if you look here, it says meta name keywords. Here's a ton of keywords that they're using to drive traffic to their website. And um, I'm sure in here somewhere you have how to make a bow. Okay, so how to make baby bows. That's actually how to make a bow right there. Uh, hair bows, hair bows, hair bows for baby, hair bows for baby, girl hair bows, bow, how to make baby bows, how to make a baby girl 
hair bow. Okay, okay, so if you'll notice here, they're using different key phrases and key terms uh, with the words how to make a bow. All right, so one of the secrets of driving a lot of traffic to your website is actually using this plugin, putting your keywords in this plugin, and actually using those keywords in your content on your website. And what Google will do is they will, they will recognize that your content is authentic and that your content is relevant to the keywords and the title and the description that you're using um, in this SEO plugin, and that will help to better rank your website in Google. All right, so um, let's scroll down here uh, back on the all-in-one SEO plugin. Don't mess with any of this information here. Uh, now you have SEO for custom post types. Don't mess with any of this information here. Okay, uh, don't mess with any of this information here. So that's about it. I don't. I don't generally mess with nothing else. All right, I just fill in this this part right here. And I scroll down and then I hit update options. And then you'll notice that the red bar is going to be gone and it's going to say all in one SEO options updated. So let's go to the plugin section and see what we have. We have the contact form 7 plugin, which is going to provide a contact form for our website. We have the all in one SEO pack, which is, which is going to help us rank in Google and uh, help help our websites come up in the different search engines okay uh, the next plugin that I want to cover you guys is cover with you guys and the last plugin for this video uh, is a plugin by the name of w3 counter okay and uh, let's go ahead and click on the add new plugins you copy w3 counter click on search plugin Okay, I'm sorry, I did something wrong here. Add plugin, okay. Search W3 counter, search plugin. Okay, it's not coming up. Let's see here. I'm typing something wrong. It's kind of tricky on me. Dip. <coughs> okay, for the W3 counter plugin, it's not actually accessible from the install plugins uh, search uh, feature here in the back part of WordPress so you're gonna actually have to go to Google and once you get to Google you want to enter blog stats by W3 counter then you hit search and what you want to look for is WordPress blog stats by W3 counter WordPress plugin and uh, you click on that and then you click on download version 2.0 and it's gonna download uh, the W3 counter plugin then you go back to WordPress, all right, and you want to click on, you go over to the left, and then you click on plugins, and then you want to click on add new plugin, and then you want to click on upload plugin, because you're going to upload this from your desktop now. Um, okay, you go to documents, that's where all my downloads go, wherever your downloads go, uh, find out where your downloads go, find the plugin that you just downloaded, you find the zip file, and once you find the zip file, you simply upload it to to WordPress. It's going to be entitled "Blog Stats by W3 Counter." Okay, so you find the file, you double click on it, you hit Install Now. All right, you click on Activate Plugin, and once you activate Plugin, uh, you just double check here. To see that it is activated, so it says "Block Stats by W3 Counter Deactivate," which means that it's already activated. All right, now you scroll up here to the top where it says "Dashboard." You click on that arrow; it's going to drop down. And then you click on W3 Counter Stats. And now it's going to say, "You must configure the plugin first. It says, "Click W3 Counter under the Settings menu." All right, so you go under the Settings menu. Okay. Or you just click on settings, the menu is going to drop down, and then you click on W3 counter. Now, this is where we want to be. All right, now, first things first, let me close up some of these windows here. What you want to do is uh, open up this w3counter.com in a new window. So you right click, then you click on open a new tab. I'm sorry, open a new tab. All right, now uh, you're gonna have to create an account. Okay, it says sign in to W3 Counter. 
or any of your username and password to sign in if you don't have an account click here to create one so you click there to create an account you put in your first name last name email username and password after you do that you click create my account now you're going to come to this page here it says add or edit website the first thing you want to do is go back to your website or I'm sure you should know your domain name just paste your domain name in the uh, type your domain name in this section here so minus.com money.info alright leave that blank make statistics public you can leave everything the way it is then you hit save changes now once you do that it's going to bring you to this page here and it says get tracker code alright your track your, your uh the tracker code is right here this 58460 is mine so I'll copy that code come over here paste it there alright so then here I'm gonna put in my my username which is dot com money alright and uh, I'm gonna put in my password here which is okay and then you wanna hit save changes alright so once you save changes there's one more thing you have to do you go back to this tab here get tracker code and you want to copy your tracker code right here okay and then uh, you want to put this code wherever you want your uh, counter to be on your website uh, a good rule of thumb put it in the footer okay that's where I always put uh, my tracker code so uh, you, you want to come over here to appearance you click on appearance you go down to the bottom you click on editor once you click on editor you go over here to the right you find footer you click on footer once you click on footer you go all the way to the bottom and you want to put it right before the body tab I mean right before okay let me slow down a little bit uh, at the bottom you want to put it right before the body uh, tab here okay so I'm going to paste it there I'm going to hit update now when I go back to my website you're gonna see that there's this little thing right here to the bottom this little uh, counter alright so this is the W3 counter now you will have live stats on your website alright so let me show you how to actually access your statistics you go over here to the dashboard tab in the back office you click on W3 counter stats and you're gonna see this little, uh, this little interface here it says you know you have one visit well mine says I've had one visit within the last 14 days it tells you how many unique visits you have how many paid views you have how many paid visits you have you've had it also tells you the source of the content uh, the search phrases that they're using to find your website uh, I mean it, it gives you a whole lot of information that is very beneficial to your marketing and advertising campaign if you have one and that's very beneficial to the way you structure and maintain your website and um, for instance if you're getting a lot of traffic from YouTube then you want to pay more attention to the YouTube market all right um, so let me give you a, let me show you a quick example what my statistics look like on my primary website evolution marketing solutions if I come in here and I click on w3 counter stats you'll see here it says that I've had you know 130 visits in the last 14 days uh, but under sources it tells me where my traffic is coming from 60% uh, is coming uh, from direct bookmarks 8% from Google search 5% from Twitter uh, it tells you the content that they're looking at the most uh, it gives you the locations you know United States United Kingdom I've even had 2% of my traffic from Russia uh, three percent from India all right and it gives you the search phrases that they use to find your website if you click on live view it's going to tell you everybody that's on your site now uh, if you click on visitors it's going to show you uh, the different locations on the map where the visitors are coming from I mean just look around this interface here and you'll find out a whole bunch of different stuff I'll be going over it all day if I still here and try to explain the whole thing to you but you definitely should uh, take some time to get familiar with it.
all right so that's the w3 counter stats plug-in all right so today we've covered the all-in-one seo pack we've covered the w3 the w3 counter stats plug-in and we've covered the contact form seven and i regret to inform you guys that that's all my time for today uh i will be hitting you up a couple of couple of days from now uh today is wednesday thursday okay and then we have our new year's coming up two days from now so uh by next friday i'll definitely be hitting you guys with another video and uh so look for the video around about you know uh january the fourth ish fifth ish somewhere up in there all right but um in that video we're going to be covering automatic youtube video post plug-in we're going to be covering covering the easy privacy policy plugin and we're going to be covering uh the opening new window plugin and one of my favorites the sexy bookmarks plugin okay so i definitely look forward to uh seeing you guys in that video and in the meantime uh join my mailing list on my website on dot com money dot info if you want to learn how to make money online if you want to learn if you want me to build your website, get in contact with me at emswebs.biz. Okay, if you want to know how to build your website yourself and you want to know how to promote your business for free using these these crazy free internet marketing tactics that I use and they 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 actually work. You know, so if you want to know something that works to drive more traffic to your business, more sales, more leads to your business, I suggest you like my new Facebook uh, page. I created it a couple days ago, and uh, on that page, I'm just gonna be I'm gonna be posting these videos, and I'm gonna be going over ways to promote your business online, ways to build websites, ways to drive free traffic to your business on autopilot. You know, so. Um, if you guys want to be a part of that like i said i invite you to like my facebook fan page i'll include the link uh under this video or somewhere on the page and also last but not least follow me on twitter okay follow me on twitter i really tweet a lot and um i love twitter because it allows you to communicate in real time so i definitely would love to hold conversations with you guys on twitter if you have anything, feel free to ask me on Twitter, and I'll definitely answer uh, your question on Twitter. Or you can uh, simply email me, Marvin is my agent at yahoo.com. Or as a matter of fact, I'm, I'm just going to make sure I include all of my contact information under this video. I appreciate you guys for listening, and uh, peace out. Talk to you later.